Welcome to our 60 minute lower body and core boot camp. I'm Rebecca Gahan with Kick at 55 Fitness. Today you need a pair of dumbbells and an optional stepper. I only have a little stepper. You can also use a book, just something to slightly elevate your legs. Remember, subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on that bell so you receive all of our notifications. Let's get started with the warm up. We're gonna football shuffle, football shuffle. Today's lots of lower body, getting your heart rate up and a good amount of core exercise. Bring those arms, kind of fall by the side, back and forth, back and forth. Five, four, three, two, one. We're gonna step forward, lunge. Step to the side, squat, reverse lunge, alternate legs, left leg, forward lunge, side squat. Reverse lunge, keep switching legs. Going around the world. Last one. And squat and punch, squat and punch, squat and punch. And back to the beginning, football shuffle. Five, four, three, two, one, around the world. Forward lunge, side squat, reverse lunge, switch legs. And squat and punch. Whew. Shuffle, last time. Fifteen seconds. Five. Two and one around the world. And squat and punch. And done with the warm up, get some water. We're gonna move on to circuit one. Ooh, actually we spilled some water. Okay, 
We're gonna take our dumbbells at our side. If you have a book, like a hard book, or a stepper, great. If not, no worries, you don't need one. We're gonna take our right foot. We're gonna be on the stepper, the right foot, the left leg is going to reverse lunge back. So we just have a slight elevation as we reverse lunge back. So we're holding our dumbbells at our side. The core is nice and tight. So having that slight elevation changes us slightly. Targeting the muscles in a tiny bit of a different way. And switch legs. Try and get that knee to touch down if you can. Okay, put the weights down. We have jack squats. So we're gonna have our arms out, legs wide, come in the middle like a pencil. Get nice and low. Nice job. Elevated hip thrusters. Again, if you don't have the elevation, it's okay. You can take a dumbbell across your hip if you want it. Initially, I'm gonna just do this with no weight. We're gonna focus on just the hip thruster. So we're lying down on the floor, get close to the stepper. My left leg is bent, my right leg is elevated. I'm activating my left glute. Lift and lower. And I'm really focusing on keeping my core contracted, my lower abs, the entire time. And switch legs. Right knee is bent, left leg straight, activating that right glute. And done. We're gonna go back to the beginning. Reverse lunges, so we're gonna pick up our dumbbells. Starting with the right foot on the stepper. Left leg reverse lunging. And switch legs. Putting your weights down. Jack squats. Remember, get low, pencil. Nice. 
Nice job. Elevated hip thrusters. With or without a dumbbell, laying across your hip. We're gonna have our right knee, or our right leg extended, left knee bent, activating that left glute. Let's go. And switch legs, activating the right glute now. One more time. Reverse lunges. Right foot on the stepper, left leg reverse lunge off. Jack squats. Elevated hip thrusters with or without that dumbbell. My right leg is extended, left glute activated. And switch legs, right glute activated. Done. Circuit one is complete. Get some water, towel off. Moving on to circuit two. So with circuit two, we're gonna start with over the tops with the stepper. And if you can't go over the tops because you don't have some sort of elevated platform, just lateral squat jumps. But if you do have a stepper, we're gonna go for 30 seconds over the tops. Just fast, shuffling your feet side to side. This is circuit two. Okay, rear elevated split squats, otherwise known as Bulgarian split squats. So I'm gonna take the stepper behind, picking up my dumbbells. I'm gonna have my right foot planted on the stepper, and if you don't have one, just on the ground. And we're gonna extend forward. But my torso isn't really the one that's sending. It's my knee. It's extending beyond 
my left toe, my quad, and the muscles in the anterior part of my leg are really driving this exercise. The goal here is to really work these muscles so that they become so strong that they protect all the ligaments in the knee, which are prone to injury. And switch legs. Here we go. Okay, so put the dumbbells down. I'm gonna back up my stepper a slight bit because I'm gonna elevate my toes on here. You don't have to elevate your feet, but if you want to add a different element to our plank commandos, this is the way to do it. So we're gonna go elbow, elbow, hand, hand. Really contracting your core, trying to not rock. Focusing on your core muscles, keeping them nice and tight as you climb up and down on your hands and elbows. Done! That's one set. Two more to go. Over the tops. 30 seconds. Here we are. elevated split squats. Picking up those dumbbells. Right leg elevated. Left leg in front. A broken glass while I'm thinking in my head. Mm -hmm. I might my And switch legs. Okay, plank commandos. With or without the feet being elevated, it's more like the toes. Here we go. Contracting that core the entire time. Keeping your butt down. Slow it down. Really focus on less wobble, more stability. Nice job. Whew. Okay. We're going to or set three. Last set. Over the tops or lateral, lateral squat jumps. Let's do it.
Nice job. Rear elevated split squats. And switching legs. Nice job. Whew. Plank commandos. Elevated or not elevated. And we are done with circuit two. Get some water, towel off. Whew. Okay, it's time for a pyramid. With this pyramid, we do not need the stepper, so you can put it to the side momentarily. We will be going back to it. So we're gonna have 10 repetitions, three different exercises. We'll start with one, then we'll add on a second, we'll add on a third. We'll drop off a couple, return. You might know the drill, you might not. Let's have our feet spread out beyond our hips. This is circuit three. We're gonna start with lateral lunges. So we're going to the side. That's one. Two, squeezing your glutes. Send your glutes out, but not leaning. This isn't a hinge. 10 of these total. Nice job. So we've done one set of one. Now we'll do a set of one and two. Here we go, 10 lateral lunges. And second exercise, we're gonna do power clean. So we're gonna swing the dumbbells. As we clean, we squat down, bring it back. We clean, we squat, that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine and ten. Now we start again. One, two, and three. Lateral lunges. Ten. power cleans.
Nice job. Okay, we're gonna take one arm holding our dumbbell overhead. We have alternating forward lunges. We have that dumbbell overhead in our right arm. 10 alternating forward lunges, let's go. This also works really well with a kettlebell if you have one. Okay, done. Now we're gonna start from the bottom to the top. I'm gonna switch the arm that's elevated this time. We're just gonna do the forward lunges with that arm elevated. Again, core tight, supporting whew, your lower back. Let's go, 10. Nice job. Now we're gonna do a set of three and two. Switching arms again, alternating forward lunges. up that second weight, 10 power cleans. And last time, Three, two, and one. So I'm holding it for the last time in my left arm. alternating lateral lunges. Legs are widespread. Here we go. And circuit three is complete. Get some water, Whew. towel off. Oh. All right, we're gonna depart from the pyramid as we move on to circuit four. Whew. Circuit four, we're gonna take a single dumbbell. We're gonna hold the head, each end of the dumbbell. So we have a little less stability and we have cross mountain climbers opposite knee to opposite elbow one but it's slowed down two staying in that low plank three four we're going to 20. six seven eight nine ten ten more get down 15 17 18 19 20. okay 15 rebound push-ups. These are also called Mike Tyson push-ups. So we're in a plank position. We take our hips 
back to our heels, push up 15 of these. You can also just do this to a plank if you don't want to do the push up. Three, four, five, I'm at 10, five more. And one. Okay, 20 total stationary lunges, 10 per leg. Right leg in front, left leg behind, a little bit staggered. We're not in a straight line, but both toes are as much as possible pointing forward. 10 per leg. Switch legs. Oh, nice job. We start again, second set of three, 20, slow down, cross mountain climbers getting that butt down, really contracting the core, 20. This is 10. And 20, 15 rebound push-ups. Plank position. Stationary lunges per leg. Core tight. Switch legs. Okay, Whew. set three, final one, 20 cross mountain climbers. Let's go. To tell me you're no good. I'm brushing away to you, the weight of you, of my shoulder. Yeah. Done with my cigarette. And when all the smoke is clean, I'm brushing away to you, the weight of you, the weight of you. Who, 20. 15 rebound push ups. Come to the end of circuit four.
Woo, 15. 10 stationary lunges per leg. Here we go. And switch. Include to the pavement between the lines. I keep my gate straight ahead as the last stop flies by. No more waiting for the gun to fire. No more walking through revolving doors. I've gone around once. And I don't need to go around anymore. Break away. Get your sober case. Stop dwelling on empty words. Stop stalling in the doorway. We are done with circuit four. Definitely need to wipe off the sweat. And some water. We have a pyramid. Fun times. We're gonna use the stepper again. And if you don't have it, don't worry. I'm gonna hold a single dumbbell. So this is circuit five. Holding the dumbbell, left leg is stabilized. Right leg is going to curtsy behind and then squat to the side 10 times. One. One, two, two, you've got it. Four, five. You can't win them all, but I'm proud I tried. Glad we had a dialogue. It's good to shake the mind. Speeding up the pace, turning up the heat. Where I need to be for the first time. I'm taking risks. And without a lifeline. Ten. Okay. Now we'll do exercise one and two, but now we're gonna switch legs. So, the right foot is here on the stepper or just on the floor. Left leg is curtsying behind and then squatting to the side 10 times. Okay, now I'm gonna put stepper off to the side so you can see my feet. We have 10 goblet squats. So my feet are turned out at 10 and two o'clock, dumbbell right below my chin, squatting down, feeling this in my inner thighs, 10. for exercise one, two, and three. Back to these curtsy squats. The right leg is the one that's curtsying. Okay, Whew. step her off to the side. 10 goblet squats. Here we go. Now 10, overhead transfers with the squat. Feet facing forward. So we transfer it overhead. One, two, three, four. Nice. 
Nice job. Okay, we're halfway through. I am going to get some water. <sighs> now we just do exercise three. We just do exercise three. Let's go. 10. job. Now we have exercise three and exercise two. Here we go. Okay. 10 goblet squats, feet turned out, 10 goblet squats. And finally, exercise three, two, and one, let's go. Nice job. Okay, 10 goblet squats. Way to go. And then finally, those curtsies off the stepper. Right leg on, left leg behind to the side. done with circuit five. Okay, for this next circuit, let's pick up both dumbbells. If you have a stepper, great. If not, you'll just do this without a stepper. We're going to step outside of the stepper, squat down, step together, dumbbells outside of our knees, squat, step out, dumbbells inside, step together, dumbbells outside. more. This is all timed. And last one. All right. Moving the stepper aside, we're going down into plank position with our dumbbells. Plank shoulder taps. Just again, it's timed. Here we go. take a single dumbbell and we're going to halo around our head as we single leg balance. So we're going to start with a halo going clockwise. Whew. Trying to balance, 
really contract your core. This is a stability exercise, a core exercise, a little bit of a lower body exercise. Whew. Now, counterclockwise. So this time I was balancing on my right leg. Next time I'll be balancing on my left leg. Next, we're gonna take both dumbbells. We're gonna squat down and then up on our toes, heels elevated at the top. And done. Time for set two. Bring that stepper back if you have it. Okay, we're gonna step outside the stepper. Dumbbells come inside. Now that you've got the hang of it, a little bit faster. And if you were leading with your left leg before, lead with your right or vice versa. So that means my right leg now is the first one on, first one off. Switch it around. But don't have the same lead leg the entire circuit. Couple more. Time. Okay. Plank shoulder taps. Plank position, butt down, core is really tight. Nice job. Okay. Halo. So I'm gonna put one dumbbell down. Last time I was balancing my right leg, this time on my left. We're gonna go counterclock or clockwise. Core tight. Wide halo around the outside of your head. Great core stability. Woo, I'm falling. And counterclockwise. Also great to do with a kettlebell if you have one. Not a heavy one. Maybe 10 pounds, 15 pounds. Do not bring a 40 pound kettlebell over your head and circle it. I think that goes without saying. Especially if your hands are sweaty. Whew. Okay, squat with that heel lift at the top. Okay, two more sets. Back with that stepper. Here we go. Done. 
plank shoulder taps. Now this time, I want you to bring your feet together as much as possible so you have less stability and you're more focused on core recruitment. Butt down. Right leg firmly planted on the ground. Clockwise halos. And rotate. And squat, heel lift at the top. Then we'll have one more side. Last set here. Get that stepper back. Here we go. Plank shoulder taps. Again, feet together if you can. for the halo. Left leg planted on the ground, clockwise, halos. And counterclockwise. This one's hard. And the finale. Squat with that heel lift at the top. Here we go. This is the end of today's workout. We're here for 30 seconds. And then class is over. Nice and low, come on. Let's get a couple more extra on this last set, last exercise of the day. We've got this nice and low, come on. Give me one more and time. Way to go.
stop right there. What do you think you're doing? Stay tuned for our next video and click right here to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok.